Father, it is in the name of Jesus that I lift up the Psalm 35 prayer, fighting against every enemy of your son and your daughter under the sound of my voice. I come before you and I say, Lord, contend, O Lord, with those who contend with your child. Fight against those who fight against them. By virtue of this ordinance, Lord God Almighty, I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray that you would not fear the threats of enemies, but trust in the Lord's mighty deliverance. He will himself take up a shield and buckler on your behalf against unreasonable and wicked foes. Those who plot harm will be foiled and their traps will ensnare them instead in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are safe under the shadow of God's wings while he repays evil with justice. Though mighty armies encamp around you, the angel of the Lord will protect all who revere his name and you remain one of them. I declare that not by human might or power, but by his spirits, God will prevail for you in the name of Jesus. When enemies arise to ambush and overwhelm you with our cause, I proclaim the Lord's rebuke according to Psalm 35 verse 4. May those who seek your downfall be turned back in confusion and put to shame. May their paths be dark and slippery as angels chase them down. I declare the angel of the Lord will pursue them in the name of Jesus as I decree that nothing will snatch you from the Father's hand or separate you from his love. You will trample every lion and serpent under your foot by the power of the Holy Spirit within you as you stand firm in your rock and refuge. God will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly pestilence. Where there is injustice against you, I pray God's intervention to bring everything done in darkness into light. As I declare, Psalm 35 verse 10 over you, your bones will say, Lord, who is like God? you in rescuing the poor from those too strong for them. I declare that as you plead your case before the Almighty God who weighs hard, you will lift your voice to the Most High and in victory your answer would come. In the name of Jesus, I declare that as you fortify through worship and incline your ear to heavenly strategies, that a new strength will flood your weary lips when you wait silently on your comforter. The Lord will exalt his name alone, even in your life, in the name of Jesus. He has said it that the battle belongs to the king who splits seas and shakes mountain, and so you will not fret but trust in his deliverance speedily as it comes. I declare no lying witnesses or malicious forces can diminish God's intent to prosper you according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. As you give your heart to Jesus immediately, lest you unforgiveness poison your fruitfulness. I declare no lying witnesses or malicious forces can diminish God's intent to prosper you according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I declare that as you go low in surrender to God's will, I declare that God's power through the blood of Jesus Christ works mightily as you believe in him and stand back to watch your victory in Jesus' name. I speak confusion into enemies' camps, sending assignments that are not of God over to your life. As I declare barriers and sabotage against demonic delays, and I break all curses trying to deny your victory. This evil and sorcery shall not stand against you that are God's anointed, because greater is he that is in you than he that is fallen in the world. I rebuke tormenting spirits driving cruelty into your life in the name of Jesus as I proclaim that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Though chaos swirl around you for a time, yet God's perfect peace surpasses all understanding over you. It will guard your mind and heart in Christ, leading you to still waters of rest and that renew your strength. I pray that the Holy Spirit imparts heavenly strategy to accurately discern roots behind rising conflict. You can wisely diffuse tensions rather than react. I pray that God will make you an ambassador of reconciliation wherever there is an offense because of the anointing that he has placed over your life. May you freely extend the same grace that saved the wretches to all the repentant forces that might come your way to ask for forgiveness. For by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life clothed with the gentleness and wisdom that God has bestowed unto you. This is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and declare that you will walk blamelessly by God's enabling grace. The Lord God will nourish you with daily manna from his word. As the scriptures strengthen your roots for passing storms without being shaken, he will hide you in the secret place where no darkness can overtake your dwelling. I decree that your hands are readily anointed with steward resources entrusted with integrity and maximum kingdom impact during your sojourn even as this life goes on. May the Lord teach you to deploy spiritual, social and financial capital in aligning with his will as he gives you deliverance in the name of Jesus. The word of God says as iron sharpness iron and so I pray God leads you to that tribe of fellow sojourners who will find their ember into flame again for your sake so that you will wax stronger. I pray that God will surround you with friendships that embolden your specific calling without competition or agenda. I pray that he will replenish you through co-laboring prayer warriors united in serving God first. I pray for discernment for you, wisdom and self-control for you when engaging those hostile towards you. May the Lord help you refrain from speeches that inflame conflicts. May you guard your reactions so peace and blessing can prevail. And Lord, I declare, I subdue any pride in anyone under the sound of my voice or arrogance, defiance or rebellion that offers foothold to the enemy. I declare as they humble themselves to receive godly counsel and feedback from spiritual mentors you are placed in their lives, may the Lord God fight their battles for them. In the name of Jesus, thank you for softening their heart to listen, learn and change even as they grow in this life filled with battles in the name of Jesus. I also declare Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 over you. God has begun a good work in you. You will carry it to the completion by his faithfulness until the day of Christ. May the Lord keep your heart soft and caring to be able to empathize and forgive amidst injustice. When accusations of betrayal come your way, the Lord will enable you to entrust your case to him as the just judge, resisting, reacting, venom for venom. In the name of Jesus, I pray the Holy Spirit will, will fall fresh upon you. Where brokenness lingers, he will bring merciful healing. Where weariness settles in, the Lord will reinvigorate your bones with hope. He will bind up your inner wounds from past assault, so no root of bitterness springs up to trouble you and yours in the name of Jesus. I seal this prayer with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. And I declare that there is a swift breakthrough and victory that is overflowing as we have prayed in Jesus' name. Beloved child of God, in the name of Jesus, I declare Psalm 35 over your life. And I say that may the Lord contend with those contending against you and fight those who fight against you unjustly. I ask that God rises up and helps you push back the powers manipulating outcomes and stirring destiny from shadows. I declare that he will break false allegiance to puppet masters of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I release the fear of the Lord upon spell weavers seeking to control and dominate your life against your will and awareness. I declare their divination shall fail to constrain you. Sorceress binds wither as heaven's light exposes hidden motives and agendas crafted in darkness. The truth is setting you free in the name of Jesus. O Most High Lord, I pray that you enable your child to evade trust being laid secretly to hijack breakthroughs and steal their blessings. As schemes hide snares along their path, guard their steps to walk in wisdom and discernment, surround them as shield, protecting them from manipulation intended to limit them. I decree divine intervention over witchcraft's web of deceit, spurn to sway decisions over your life, affect emotions and public opinion, break word curses that defy you. I declare that your every, every assignment is cancelled that will sign away inheritance and potentials to the enemy illegally over your life. I declare every counterfeit verdict is already unraveled fast in the name of Jesus. Pray the Lord will confuse the tongues, conspiring on just harm against you. He will make them stumble over their own feet and expose their potters to those they manipulate against you. He will vindicate and make evident the oppressed no matter how outnumbered today. He will lift you up from the courtrooms of lies 
Where there is betrayal from trusted ones, I speak consolation and healing to your grieving heart. May the Lord bring to light concealed motives and religious rivalry masks as friendship. May he comfort you in your hour of sorrow when wounds feel deepest. He will carry you close until deliverance comes your way. In the name of Jesus, I call for truth and justice to prevail as you fix your eyes on Christ, the one enthroned forever victorious, who aligns you to intercede heaven's will and not against earthly forces of opposition. Anchor your mind to hope in Almighty's arm where you are safely hidden from venom and vengeance. As I declare righteousness shall prevail for you in the name of Jesus. Beloved child of God, though floods of adversity seek to sweep you away, I say fear not. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. His sovereign reign holds back the tide. You are not overwhelmed or consumed by witchcraft churning currents. You dwell under divine protection where no sorcery can reach without its consent. As I declare, you remain still and know that he is God in the name of Jesus. I declare Psalm 35 over areas of your destiny increasingly under siege. The Lord will contend for you. May every enemy release in hell's confusion and frustration to oppose and overcome and overwhelm you be turned back ashamed. He will drive them away empty handed from attempting to hijack that which God has appointed for you to steward. In the name of Jesus, I appeal to the righteous judge, God the Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, to silence lies seeking your demise as he renders guilty verdicts powerless now for no voodoo overrides the blood sealed child of the Most High King. I call for truth and justice to prevail even as you choose to entrust yourself to God who judges justly. Be renewed in the perfect love that casts out fear. Take on humility, refuse and retaliation against those puppeted by forces beyond flesh and blood after all over your life. I appeal for heavenly wisdom to help you understand roots and snaring aggressors so you can stand in the gap through intercession not accusation in the name of Jesus. I pray that you ask God for discernment so your reactions are righteous, measured and peaceful, not pouring fuel on fires. I pray that God gives you the grace to answer gently, turning away strive, as I ask the God's heavenly peace to guard your mind and heart when surrounding feels overwhelming, bewildering. Make his perfect love relieve anxiety and trauma from ongoing assault so that you remain stable and moved by witchcraft's churning undercurrents in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, I ask that you nourish and sustain this beloved through times of isolation as warfare intensifies. Smooth their path ahead by shutting lion's mouth. Pour in daily grace, compassion and comfort. Send destiny help of friends who refuse manipulation and stand for truth at all costs for their sakes in the name of Jesus. I declare Psalm 56 over your life. Dear friend, when fears increase and courage wavers in this storm on all sides, trust unwaveringly in God who never falters. What can mortal flesh do to one abiding in the Most High's pavilion? I declare that you rest under his feathers until deliverance comes speedily in the name of Jesus. I ask the God Almighty you contend with those who contend with this beloved trusting fully in the shadow of your wings. May all enemies be turned back helpless and ashamed for lifting their hands against the anointed of God. No weapon formed against them shall ultimately prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you with the eyes to recognize infiltration, discern hidden motives and resist agreement with compromising mindsets with your inner circles. I sever unholy soul in agreement with you and the ties, siphoning discernment, detox relationship where Jezebelic supply stirs. And I pray that you receive courage to walk away from any of these in the name of Jesus. I ask God for supernatural strategy and divine connections to advance kingdom work without 
a shred of corruption amid opposition on every side. I pray that God unites you to like-minded reformers sold out for righteousness and may they link arms as one army dressed for holy war. I pray that the heavenly streams of living water will flood your soul to overflow in washing, manipulation and controlling spirit into oblivion over your life. I declare that as you drink deeper and as you abide in the secret place, no dark incantation can sway or deter Christ's anointed one. As you remain his own, you walk in righteousness and undefiled freedom. Father, we thank you because we know that no verdict rendered against this one's life can stand. As you remain the eternal judge, you're striking out the gavel of overrule. According to Colossians chapter 2, all decrees raised against us is already nailed to the cross and disarmed. I declare that the Lord Almighty Father, who is the man of war, moves now through you to push back powers of manipulation and witchcraft over your life. I pray the Holy Spirit leads you into all truth concerning areas still shrouded in deceptions fog, realigning you to righteous vision, motives and boundaries carefully guarded as I sever unholy alliances stirring you amiss. May everything that the enemy put as captive become free for you as his light shines in the name of Jesus. The Lord reveals secret stones of stumbling laid along your path to trip you just as the breakthrough draws near. I pray the snares set in darkness now dissolve like mist as heaven's light penetrates and prevails for your sake. I thank God because I know that you are holding fast and enduring seasons of opposition and breakthrough delay. I thank God that you are taking up full armor to withstand the walls of evil powers. You are not relenting as you wait in God. You will continue to mount up with wings soaring as that of an eagle in the name of Jesus. I seal these words with thanksgiving knowing that our God has given us grace and we prevail for peace and justice reigns ultimately in your life and over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering us. May the Lord be your strong tower against the enemy who desires to hurt and oppress you. As I declare the Lord Most High as your refuge, delivering you from the traps of those who speak lies and deceit against you and your family. I decree the Lord God shields you from poisonous words and the violence of wicked schemers. As David cried out for in Psalm 140 verse 3, may malicious lips be silenced and destroyed as they seek to tarnish your reputation through gossip and slander. I call upon God's angels to guard you from verbal attacks or physical harm devised by evil hearts as no weapon formed against you will prosper in Jesus' name. I pray for you to be kept safe from those who secretly set traps and snares with cords. According to Psalm 140 verse 5, may the hidden nets of the wicked fail and their own foot be caught in it as Haman was hanged on the gallows he intended for Mordecai in Esther chapter 7. I declare the evil plans of those who lift themselves up with pride will come to nothing. The Lord Almighty brings down those with haughty looks and proud hearts. I decree you are protected under the shadow of God's wings as evil rises up against you on every side as David proclaimed in Psalm 140 verse 7. May those who surround you with words of malice and violence be overturned by their own schemes as the transgressors gathered against Daniel but were themselves thrown into the lion's den at the king's command in Daniel 6. So shall it be for all who attack you without cause. In Jesus' name, I commission angelic forces to fight on your behalf against every proud enemy that lifts themselves up against you and every violent man who stirs up conflict without cause. As the angel of the Lord struck down 185,000 Assyrians in the night to deliver Hezekiah and Jerusalem according to 2 Kings 19, so shall all wicked foes be wiped from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for your protection according to Psalm 140 verse 4 which says keep me safe from the traps set by evil doers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. 
I stand upon this word and declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I decree that while thousands fall at your side, it should not come near you. And no evil will conquer you as Isaiah 54 verse 17 promises. I declare the word of the Lord over your life from Psalm 140 verse 7. Sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head on the day of battle. May you be covered in God's armor daily, shielded from arrows of adversity. As the Lord instructed Moses to raise a staff to part the Red Sea in Exodus 14, may he make a way for you when enemies pursue and difficulty surrounds you on all sides. I pray you will be preserved from violent schemers who devise wicked plans in their own heart as David employs in Psalm 140 verse 2. May the Lord unmask hidden motives and agendas set against you as he exposed Haman's sinister plot to eliminate the Jews, bringing about Haman's own execution on the gallows intended for Mordecai. So will he cause evil plans forged against you in secret to fail and backfire to those who contrive them in Jesus' name. I decree angelic intervention over destructive words unleashed towards your life according to Psalm 140 verse 3. I declare the Lord delivers you from slander and defamation that spread like poison. As he redeemed Daniel's reputation from the mouth of lions, may he guard and protect your name and work from all verbal assault. Lips that intend harm will be silenced and are silenced even now in the name of Jesus. I pray for your deliverance from those who set traps with cords and nets according to Psalm 140 verse 4, who seek to secretly ensnare people through manipulation and scheming words that appear harmless on the surface. But the Lord sees hidden motives and agendas are so declared, their feet shall be caught in the very snares they laid for you as stated in Psalm 140 verse 10. And I pray every evil plans forged in darkness against you will be exposed by heaven's light in the name of Jesus. I decree supernatural protection over you from the violence poured out by wicked valiants as described in Psalm 140 verse 1 and 11 as the Lord secured David from Saul's spear and sent his angel to close the mouth of lions, so shall he shield you from physical harm devised by ungodly men. No weapon will touch you as you abide in the sacred place of the Most High. Day and night, I declare you are rescued from the traps of the enemy who longs to destroy your life and purpose according to Psalm 140 verse 5. As God thwarted the advice of Ahithophel against King David in 2 Samuel 17, bringing his counsel to nothing, so shall he cause every diabolical scheme aimed at hurting you to fail and come to nothing. No plan verge in hell can succeed against a blood-bought child of heaven. So also finally I decree angels to guard you in all your ways, securing you round about, before and behind, as declared in Psalm 140 verse 7. As Elisha witnessed the mountain filled with the Lord's fiery chariots, may you walk surrounded by mighty warring angels on seeing the spots for your defense. No foe can penetrate his heavenly host, secured by the banners of the Lord of hosts. And so I seal this prayer over you, my beloved friend, thanking the Lord God for he covers you with his righteous hands, securing your victory over every enemy. May you continue to dwell in the secret place of God's presence always. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we give thanks, knowing that this has been answered. I pray and declare that by the name above all names, you will cast out the enemy and they will flee. You will scatter them in confusion and fear before the brightness of God's coming until no trace of them remains. I dismantle all weapons formed in secret to destroy you and your loved ones. I drive them far away in the name of Jesus as I wipe out the memory of their existence for God sees how violence fills their hearts against you, but God beholds the and laughs at you. But God beholds and laughs for their day of destruction is quickly approaching. I proclaim God's word in Psalm 27 over you 
The Lord is your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is a stronghold of your life. Of whom shall you be afraid? Therefore, I declare that you have no fear or dread in your heart as God arise as your light and liberator. He is your mighty fortress and strength. Therefore, you will not be terrified by anything you see, hear or experience. You are filled with all inspired fear of God that cast out all powerless spirits of fear and intimidation sent by the enemy to push you into panic and retreat. So do not be afraid for the Lord has equipped and authorized you to walk all over hostile powers and tread down every devilish force arising to attack you. I declare an overcoming strength and unstoppable force to dominate and subdue every adversary that opposes God's will in your life. Because you believe in the name above all names, which is the name of Jesus Christ, these signs as declared in Mac, for in his name you will cast out demons, you will speak in new tongues, you will pick up serpents with your hands, and if you drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt you. You will lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. By virtue of this word, you will call the name of Jesus against any stronghold that will flee at your command. I pray that their evil schemes will recoil upon themselves and they will fall by the weight of their own wickedness. Like the 72 disciples of Jesus returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. I pray the name of Jesus will avail you too when you call upon him to cast out your enemies because whatever you ask in his name, this he will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So I proclaim courage over you, my dear friend. Trust that the Lord stands ready to judge earth from heaven. He will rescue all who take refuge in him, even though long nights of whipping, joy take two. Even through long nights of whipping, joy comes with the morning. You will witness the most high dealing and casting out every proud oppressors against you. So lift up your head through the darkness for much anticipated victory. God's promise in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Upon this ordinance, I pray that you will heed no voice of fear, timidity or cowardice, but hold fast to the power of the Holy Spirit, soundness of mind and self-control through the Holy Spirit given to dwell in you. The Lord will embolden you to cling tightly to your authority in Christ Jesus. He will impart in you boldness and an unwavering discipline to stand your ground against temptations from the enemy. I commission angel guardians round about lifting and shielding you in love through every battles so even your foot will not strike the stone of harm no trouble will trample no plague will prevail as you trample every serpent lion and dragon in jesus bold authority crushing completely the demonic powers that oppose you and your loved ones in the name of jesus hear this beloved the Lord Almighty stands ready to deliver all who hope in Him. His promises prove true. Hence, He will vindicate you fully. You stand courageous for soon you will witness the Lord casting out your enemies, consuming them with His wrath and covering your adversaries in furious glory until no trace of them remains. So, in the name of Jesus, we rejoice. For the King of Glory is fighting for you. I call upon the angels to go forth and dismantle every weapon of the enemy formed against you and release confusion and fear until every accuser flees. May the Lord lift up his healing wings over you like he healed Mary Magdalene from evil spirits and infirmities afflicting her in the name of Jesus. As you anchor your hope in God's covenant for with him, he will give you the power to trample upon every devilish threat of, until you walk safely in peace again. I will not keep silent but signal heaven and earth to fight for you tirelessly as you agree with me until the Lord's righteous justice blazes fully on your behalf. With a prophetic passion, I decree it is accomplished even this hour. And in Yeshua's name, Jesus, divine reversals come gushing forth like holy water flood water, take two, like holy flood water 
destroying completely every weapon and dark shroud of chaos suffocating your soul through cruel injustice. Beloved, believe that as Jesus Christ called to his disciples that are 12 and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction, you too have received the same authority in Jesus' name. And so I decree finally, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 over you, that you should be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might, putting on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, I declare that as you take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. The Lord God has given you grace and you have done all to stand, you remain standing. I seal this prayer in Jesus' name, a name above all names before which every false accusation and demonic bodies bow defeated. Therefore, as you submit yourself to God, you keep on resisting the devil and he remains flown from you. It is done in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please subscribe to this channel and as you do so, God bless you.